In this video, we're going to talk about factoring trinomials using factor by grouping. With factor by grouping, you're, you need four terms, and you split up the four terms into groups of two. In this example, x squared plus 5x plus 6, we don't have four terms, we only have three terms. When that's the case, and we have just an x squared up here to get us started, we're going to split apart the 5x into two terms that add to give me 5. The key is they have to not only add to give me 5x, but they also have to multiply to give me positive 6. So if we think about what multiplies to give positive 6, 6 is our product and has a sum of positive 5. Sum is our 5. So examples of product of positive 6 would be 1 times 6 and 2 times 3. Which ones have a sum of 5? 1 plus 6 is 7. 2 plus 3 is 5. So 2x and 3x are how we separate 5x. Now we can bring down what's left, x squared, and the positive 6 at the end. Now we have our four terms. So again, we came up with what two numbers add to give me 5 and multiply to give me 6. And it'll always be that pattern where they add to give me b and they multiply to give me c from that standard form of a quadratic trinomial. Now that we have divided it up into four terms, we can factor out the greatest common factor of the first pair. x squared and positive 2x have an x in common. What would be left if we divided them by x? x squared divided by x is x. 2x divided by x is 2. Now let's factor out the greatest common factor of the second pair. They're both divisible by positive 3. When I divide both terms by positive 3, I get x plus 2. Now I'm ready to write my final answer. The ones in parentheses, the x plus 2, that's one of my factors. So I'm going to factor that out because that's what they have in common. When I factor that out, what's left is the other factor, which is x plus 3. So my final answer in factored form is x plus 2 times x plus 3. Let's do another example. x squared minus 9x plus 14. So when we look at our example, the x term number tells me my sum, and the constant at the end tells me my product. So if we were to fill in our diamond puzzle, we would look for what two numbers have a product of 14, so they multiply to give 14, and they have a sum of negative 9, so they multiply to give 14 and add to give negative 9. So let's think what multiplies to give 14, 1 times 14, and 2 times 7. So if they multiply to give me a positive, they have to be positive times positive or negative times negative. But since a negative times a negative is that's how we would have to do it if we want to add to get a negative number because a positive plus a positive is not going to give me a negative sum. So we would have to use negative 2 and negative 7 because a negative times a negative multiplies to give me a positive 14 and it adds to give me negative 9. So now we know how to separate our middle term, negative 2x, negative 7x. Bring down the first term and the last term and then factor by grouping. Group the first two terms, they have a greatest common factor of x, and divide that out, x times x minus 2. Group the second two terms, they have a greatest common factor, negative 7x, positive 14. They're both divisible by negative 7, and we're left with x minus 2. Now, whatever you got in this parentheses, you have to be sure you get the same thing in that parentheses which is why I factored out a negative 7 
because when you divide this positive 14 by negative 7, that's how I'm going to get back to that negative 2. Now I can, so now that I have that, the same binomial here, I know that that's one of my answers, x minus 2. And when I remove that, I'm left with my other answer, x minus 7. So that represents the factored form. And notice you're left with x minus 2 and x minus 7, negative 2 times negative 7. And multiply to get me back to this 14 in my original problem. And they add to get me back to that negative 9x in my original problem. Hope that helps with factoring. Again, these are only for problems that have a leading coefficient of 1. So the first term in all of the examples I talked about have just an x squared right there. Thank you.